Hello, I'm Ignacio Bazán Lascano from Argentina and I will try to show you how to color a character. Uh, this drawing below to a personal project in which I am working at the moment. As you can see, the scenes show two characters standing in front of the door, guarding it. The aesthetic be chosen for drawing is called steampunk, and for those who know nothing about it, I tell you that it used many elements below in 1800 Industrial Revolution. We can see elements combined with bronze, copper, pipe, steam, leather, everything seems super decorated steam engine. To start with, I will take the character in the right side of the screen to give it the final detail. The most important thing is to know where the light comes from. As we can see, it's come from above that from this very moment. I will pay attention to it while doing every detail. It is easier to change to color if you have a starting point the drawing well defined in grey. I myself designed the brush I'm using in 75% opacity. I will try to polish all, all the areas. Try to, to, to see all the details and give more and more polish. Look the light, the light in the top, the shadow in the bottom. All you have to do is be patient. Okay. Let us try to work seeing the wool drawing and from time to time make some lens for the detail. I go to do the same of that I did before but in this new area. Every detail done will follow light's directions. As character battle dress is mostly made in of metal, we are going to put light above on the reflection or backlight below. Now I will start giving color the character on the left side that is nearly finished. To give color to it, I open a new layer and chose color option. In this new layer, I am going to paint a wool character chosen the base color. Red for the brown battle dress and for the metal piece. When I have base colors defined, I will open another layer to begin using light with higher tones and shades with the lower ones. Now I will try to do give all the detail using only the brush. Uh, look this, I put the highlight here. I put I put the orange okay here and here I give the light and the shadow I try to understand the form I will continue uh, give, uh, giving the color base using the color layer. 
I put brown here. Okay. The weapon, the arm. For everything that looks like metal, I'm going to use small dots of colors to get a Cooper effect. I will stand out higher points of light by using white color. I will repeat this using small dots to give the, the, the bronze detail here and here. I will repeat this in the arms and the weapon. The trick of painting is to put the light and shade in the right place. If you are occurring it, you can try to draw something realistic with very few paint brushes. But this is quite difficult and you can only do it after observing and practicing hardly. Okay. I will continue giving detail. I will use the same brush for all the picture. put the shadows, push there, reflex, okay. I use white from metal, Then I will use the same techniques in the background, in the peepers, in the door. Uh, as clothes doesn't shine like metal and looks opaque, uh, I will try not to use strong white. The metal have a, a big uh, reflection. Okay, um, from here on, I will move myself without the chromatic scale changing color range to reach final results. Okay. I try to design the clothes giving more detail okay. More detail here, light, shadow. Polish the area. I pi I pick up the the color and use this to detail again. As you can see, the background is almost finished. I will give you the final detail 
here I will use this brush and I continue the wall I put this red here I will use the same techniques I put dots of light in the metal doing the same well uh, I hope that you have enjoyed it and finally we can see the final result of the drawing thank you so much and I hope you like it